Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me try that again. Let's get into the Word of God. All right. Let's go to 2 Samuel chapter number 7, and we're going to read verse number 22. The Bible says, Wherefore thou art great, O Lord God, for there is none like thee, neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. So first of all, uh, this is David that is literally speaking this to the Lord. Uh, it is his prayer, uh, but he is, he is um, you know, praising the Lord and praying to the Lord and worshiping God. And these, these are um, some of his words that he had for the Lord. And what incredible words they are. Wherefore thou art great, O Lord God. He's acknowledging the greatness of God. For there is none like thee, neither is there any God beside thee. Now, you know, David lived in a very, very pagan time. Right now in our timeline in, in humanity, you know, with the church age uh, about 2,000 years old, a little over 2,000 years old, uh, we have mostly a monotheistic religion on this planet. But back then, in those ancient times, it was mostly pagan. Uh, you know, most civilizations prayed to statues and built built statues and worshipped them and prayed to them and, um, you know, absolutely pagan, multiple gods, uh, you know, and and many of them, when they go to battle, they would ask help from these gods. And so you can only imagine as they try to go to battle with Israel and David is at the head, uh, you know, the, as the captain and the king, now the king. Um, but even before he was a captain, uh, even when Saul was king and went to battle on behalf of Saul, uh, you know, and, and just watching the, the, the children of Israel who call themselves a child of God just destroy you in battle. And, and uh, there was actually a moment where the Philistines, um, was it the Philistines? Oh, boy, now I can't. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it was the Philistines. But anyway, they went to battle. And then when they lost, they said, well, it's because their God is the God of the hills. So we have to take him to the valley where our God will help us win. You know, and it's just absolutely absurd. But imagine, you know, these pagan people watching as the people of God are winning and blessed by God. You know, this verse here is David acknowledging that he sees the greatness of God and he's acknowledging the greatness of God. Um, and it is even more than he expected, according to all that we have heard with our ears. So, you know, he's saying, man, everything that I heard about you is true. It's basically what David is saying. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's absolutely true and more so. But you know, that also goes with those who don't love God because David clearly loves the Lord. But even those who don't, they will also get to see the greatness of God just on the wrong side of it, <laughs> you know. Um, and so we will all, every human being will get to see the greatness of God, whether in this lifetime or the next in eternity. But nevertheless, we will all get to see just how great and how mighty God is. And we're all going to say, wow, everything that I've heard about you is true and more. Because God is a great God, greater than all those pathetic, fake, pagan gods that the ancient people used to worship and, 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 and far above any, any God, fill in the blank, because there is only one God. His name is Jesus Christ. And, and his greatness is, is just, it's so great, exceeding great. And we'll all see it someday. But the question is, which side of his greatness will we be on? If you've never accepted Christ as your personal Savior, you need to do that today stop what you're doing pray to the lord jesus christ and, and ask him 
to forgive you of your sins. And first of all, repent of your sins and ask him to forgive you because he died on the cross for our sins and rose again three days later so that he can have the power to redeem us and forgive us of our sins. Don't be on the wrong side of his greatness. Be on the right side of his, of his greatness, the same side as David, so we can behold in awe and amazement and say, praise the Lord, you are a great God. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.